Hi everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Ape Escape 3. Last time, we defeated Monkey Blue and managed to capture him. I know it's been a long time since I've done this. I apologize and everything. I'm trying to get back in. So anyway, let's go to the Hot Springs. Monkey in a Spring. Is it a co is a cover-up necessary? And gadgets. Hey, here's another gadget. I'm going to warp over to you. It's an RC car you operate by remote control. Learn how to drive like a pro. No, I'm not going to go to the training room for the RC car. RC car is the same control as it has been in all the other yeah. escapes. So, we have to capture 13 little monkeys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still a bit sick. So, if things seem a bit different, it's because I'm using component cables for this instead of what I've been using for the beginning of it. Uh, you might, shouldn't notice too much of a difference. Uh, let's actually go right there. There we go. Because there is a monkey that's down right here. Right. And... Nope. Monkey! Shabimon! Okay, there's a red pant monkey right here. I gotta be careful for this one. Ah, dang it. Monkey! What? Get in the net! Internet. God, that was annoying. Now, this is actually something that's uh, very interesting. You can see that there uh, are two kanji right there. The one on the left is Onna, and then the one we're going into is Otoko. Uh, basically, that's male and female. Um, depending on who you chose, if you chose Kei or Yumi, that actually determines which of the two will open up. Eh, it's a little detail, not really that important, but it's interesting. But we have a little naked monkey! Public indecency is not allowed at this onsen. Which, actually, uh, it's funny to note that pretty much in every single Ape Escape game, so far, there has been a hot spring type level in one of them. Every single Ape Escape. Now, there is a way for us to get into the other onsen, because as you can see, this monkey's trying to peek over. So, bad pervert. But yes, we can actually jump into the other other side because there are actually uh, monkeys inside there. So let's... It's a bit easier when we get another gadget. Unless... Do we already have... It? No, we don't. As you can see, we only have one gadget left that we need. There is a way that you can get into here by just doing this. Uh, the camera's kind of not being my friend right now. I'll come back for that later. Because I think there's only two monkeys in that side because they had it pretty evenly divided for right there. Oh, I need to use the RC car right here. And let's go through here. I do like this uh, song that's playing, though. It's really interesting. So, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why is it that it's been taking me so long to update, and the real reason is because of health. That's the whole reason for all these delays. But, hopefully things should be getting better, and... Nope! Nope! God! In you go! Not getting beat up by a naked monkey. Speaking of naked monkeys. Pervert! Wait, why are you wearing your clothes in the home set? Monkey, what? That's very weird. Hi, monkey! <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty cool. I like doing that. Right, so let's go up this way. I should probably be getting more gotcha coins because I didn't get that many. Ha! Take that. Right? What is this? Ah, it does this. Okay, so let's hit this. Drains the onsen. Which, it's something I actually really always want to go to. I always wanted to go to an onsen. But, you know, those are kind of like a huge thing in Japan. Oh, God, the boats! I jumped in the boat. There we go. Boat controls are the same. It's not like, um... Pumped in Prime's boat controls, thank God. Ugh. So, what we have to do is we have to just eat up the little pop. Come on. Control stick spin, and... There we go. Don't care! So, monkey! Kimi-san! Hi, Kimi. Hmm. 
I'm just doing this because I don't want to have to use the boat, actually. It's going to be so bad if I have to get back. Uh, this would be so much easier. I shouldn't have done this, so... This would be so much easier if I had the last gadget, which I think you guys can guess what it is. Okay, let's get around there. All right, let's go around this way, and... Turn! And... Go this way! All right. Uh... I don't know why. I've been uh, I've been talking with some people lately, and they put an idea in my head that just won't go away, and I would love it. And that is an Ape Escape HD remake. I would love to have an HD remake of the first Ape Escape game. Yes, there was the um, Ape Escape uh, on the loose, which is a remake of the first one, which the PSP was actually really known for a lot of their remakes of their first games. For example, Medieval Resurrection being a recreation of the first Medieval game. But I didn't like On the Loose because I did not like the voice actors they had for Spike and everyone. Mainly because the voice actor that does Spike in the On the Loose remake for Apescape 1 is actually the person who did Billy from The Grim Adventures of Billy and Man. And it just sounds weird. Just way too weird. That's why I don't like it. Oh, so many gotcha coins. I need these. Oh God! No! Invincible! No! 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 Get in! Get in the net! There we go! Oh, I didn't see that that was a green pan monkey until a bit. That's why I freaked out. Ugh. All right. So we only need two monkeys left. There's actually. There's only 16 in this stage, but we have to catch 13. You'd be surprised at how spread out those last couple of monkeys actually are. It's kind of weird. So, let's climb up the bowl. And we're back here. So, you can see you could have gone in reverse. Well, no, actually, you couldn't have gone in reverse because I think this is too high. Yes, it's too high, and you actually can't jump out of it. So, we still need the last gadget since the magic punch is actually not in this game. This is the... Pretty much this is the first main series Apescape game that didn't have the magic punch in it. A lot of people were actually very upset about that, but I never really used the magic punch, so it didn't really matter to me. Alright, so let's kill the bots. Okay, and... Kill you. Nope. Nope. There we go. Alright, now there's going to be uh, one monkey that's coming up right here that's actually going to be riding on, I believe, a T-Rex? There he is. This one's kind of a pain to catch. There we go! So only one more, and I know where it is, and let's go on the raft. Let's not go on the raft, and let's just follow the raft down the rapids. Should be one right here getting attacked by the um, snakes. He's actually attacking this one. I'm actually going to use the uh, radar on this one. It's actually kind of funny. Oh, hey! So... Mihachin, okay. It's okay, Mihachin. Get in the net! There we go. And that takes care of the hot spring. Woohoo! I don't actually know what this one was parroting. Hmm. I, I, I don't think it was parroting anything. I think this stage was honestly just being uh, the regular sort of stage. Here we go, 13 monkeys. I could be backtracking and going to catch the other monkeys, but I'm not going to do that until later in the game, for certain reasons. You have been saving your... I just loaded the save file seven minutes ago. Yes, I've been saving my game. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite stages. Just for the theme. Winter's Winterville is probably one of my favorite themes in the entire game. It's, um... During the... I believe this is parroting Hokkaido, actually. So, 13 monkeys! I'll be back. Oh boy. Because you can actually see the Bonodori around, and that's why I think that this is Hokkaido, because Bonodori takes place uh, around between August and September. It varies on the regions for it, actually. Uh, they change around a lot. Okay, let's actually. Let's go and get this blue pant monkey. Right. There we go. Suburota. 
There's actually also a hidden monkey. Uh, we're going to be getting hidden monkeys later in the game. I'm going to be doing those as bonus parts because they don't actually count towards uh, needing to complete the game. They're different monkeys that you have to use certain codes to unlock. Uh, the codes are always the same. You actually get them from hidden code books inside the shops that you can buy. You input the code and then the monkey will show up there. I'll be getting those ones in a bonus part at the end since those monkeys, like I said, are not required for it and aren't considered uh, the monkeys uh, like in order to beat the game. They do count in the log though, because I believe in this Ape Escape there are 400 and I want to say 20 monkeys total that you catch actually, be and that is including them. Right? But this right here, this song right here, I'll let you listen to it for a bit. This is my favorite song in uh, this game. Good, no? Uh, I love Soichi Terada and his music. Not as much as I like catching monkeys! Isn't that right, Kimisuki? Suke. Okay. Uh, not Ki. Uh. If I seem a bit sporadic and kind of weird today, that's because... I don't know. I, I guess it's because I'm a bit tired. Yesterday, I was with Afro Battler, the Mad Cat, and Link's Paradox, and we ended up finishing up everything for... Uh, Mario Party 2, so expect that in the future. I know a lot of you guys want more of this, and don't worry, I'm going to be trying to finish it. When it comes with Kingdom Hearts, I'm going to be... That one probably might take a while, because again, got to get into that one. And then the other problem is I don't like Chain of Memories. <laughs> I'd rather finish the game I like. I like the platformer. Uh, one of the hidden monkeys will actually be in this room once we get it. It's actually my favorite of the hidden monkeys. Oh, ow. That sucks. Right? I'm also debate. God dang it. Duh, no! Ow! I'm also debating on whether to go back. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Nope! 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 Not gonna deal with getting caught. Not gonna deal. I guess there are some useful benefits, I guess, for using the. Um, Forms, but that that's like the only case in which I'm gonna use them. Yo, right. Yo, so, I think is, I think that's a uh, that is a hibachi actually right there. It's a Japanese style heater. It's why I think this is more of Hokkaido as well because a lot of this is more traditional style stuff for Hokkaido. There should be uh, yeah one of these guys in here. All right, I need that cookie actually. <laughs> Give me that cookie. All right, so. I'm probably going to do this one still in 16 by 9 and then I'm going to, uh, I want to ask you guys in the comments, leave a comment with the new YouTube comment system, which I don't mind as much. The only thing I don't like about it is that I can't reply to old comments on my video because you, like, if they've been made in the past before the update, because it says legacy comments cannot be commented on. So, yeah. That's the only real bad thing I don't like. There are problems with this, uh, new thing. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to get into that. But I want you guys in the comments to say if you want me to keep this in um, 4x3 or 16x9. Wait, and there we go. Yes, we were closed during the rehearsals. This actually reminds me, I missed the Simeon Cinema in the last one, but that's okay. I think I'll actually cut to getting that in at the end of this episode. Um, there we go. But uh, put in the comments if you want me to keep this in 4x3. Three, and what I'll do is I'll put a little uh, background that's like themed around the stage. It won't be like. Um... Oh, there we go. There's Kimi Kichi. Um, it won't be like uh, related to the game because actually finding Apescape 3 um, full on uh, things is actually pretty difficult. Is that right? Tuma Be. That is actually not a Japanese name at all. Okay. <laughs> um, or if you want me to keep it in 16 by 9, which is what it is right now. It's it's up to you guys, really. Mainly because I'm kind of getting tired of stretching out certain 4 by 3 aspect ratio videos. There we go. Gonbe. Now, there should be one more monkey, if I'm remembering correctly, that's inside one of these. Uh, there might be. No, there's nothing right there. 
Yes. Nope, nothing right there. There might be one more. I could always use the radar to detect monkeys. Okay, I guess there aren't, so we're gonna go this way. I think this actually leads to where the Bonodori fest. No, this leads to uh, uh, vehicle section for the tank, which returns in this game, and the controls for this are not bad at all. And robot battle. Nope. Nope. Oh, jeez. Well, that goes. There goes that. So what I'll do is I will do this. Because you can also just regularly, at regularly attack them as well. The tank just does more damage. Because there's going to be instances in this later in which we're going to not have a tank and we're going to have to kill these things. There we go. In fact, I don't think the tank has that many uses in this game. I can think of one more stage that actually has a tank inside it. But... Off the top of my head, I can't think of any other one besides Wintersville and a later stage, which is actually, I think, one of the later end stages. I'm already thinking on how I'm going to plan out on doing this project to finish it up, because I'm going to be finishing up Ape Escape before the new year. I'm going to finish Ape Escape 3 before the new year. I've paid myself that goal at least. I was hoping I'd be able to do the same with um, Kingdom Hearts, but... Health got in the way, and then also Kingdom Memories. If you if you can't tell, I don't like Kingdom Memories. All right, so it might be this way that leads to the Bonodori Festival. So let's go up here and oh, there's a, this is where I initially started. Huh. Where did I miss a monkey? It's in this area over here. Here. Is he inside the snowman? Yes, he is. So, here's a monkey. No, no. Ow! I just got shoveled. Monkey. What's with all the konkichis? All right, so only two more. Okay, so that was the only one that was in this area. I can't believe I missed that one, actually. I should have saved that one, actually, because then when I come back to the stage later, it would have been easier. All right, so let's go up here and into here, because there's one more area where the remaining monkeys are. It should be up this way. Okay, yeah, it is up this way. This way will lead to the Bonodori Festival. And for those of you who've watched the original anime for Pokemon, you'll recognize this actually as a scene from one of the first seasons. Mainly with the Taiko drum right here. Makio, you're the bestest. So, let's go and get the one that's beating the, uh, the Taiko drum. I like Taiko drums, they really sound nice. This takes a while. There we go. And let's go up here. And monkey, which will be the main Taiko drum person, Mako. You live for now, monkey. All right, so that takes care of those two stages, which means we'd only actually need two more, and then we'll actually get, I believe, another boss. Looking pretty good. Thank you, Aki. Still don't know why they gave you still the Japanese name, but changed Satoru and Sayaka to K and you then again. I don't think people can actually pronounce those. Never mind, actually, after this stage would be the boss. Huh. Because we're gonna get another form here once we finish that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the hot springs real quick. Might as well just catch all the monkeys while I'm there. Be well, I can't catch all the monkeys. I'm gonna go and get the uh, cinema and cinema. It's actually by where we caught the last monkey in the hot springs, so it's gonna take a while. That's why I'm gonna cut ahead now. All right, here's where the camera is. It's right at the beginning. So as you see, there are no monkeys to film because I caught the monkey that was right here. This was one of the last ones I always got. I remember this happening many times. I can't believe I screwed this up. 
Don't worry, we'll be able to get this one later because there's a free play mode in this, so don't worry. But, anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. I'll see you guys next time.